Hey, what's up there, Tornado Fourth? Day 14 of the Big Red Van Build. Thanks for subscribing. If you're subscribing, if you're not, hit that subscribe button. I'm putting these videos out every day so you can watch this thing grow. Uh, like I said before, if you hadn't watched it, I'm trying to do this van in 60 days or less. Um, so we're on day 14. Today we're going to do a bed uh, installation or a bed mount platform. We're doing an elevated bed. So I have this uh, product that I got from Ikea. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's really strong and it, um, it expands. So you can make it shorter or wider. So um, no matter what your width of your van is, you know, you can make it however width you want it, which is really nice. Uh, the other nice thing that it has is, put this up close, it has this little lip at the end. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this 1 8 inch uh, aluminum uh, and mount it to the side of the, of the van with a couple of um, spacers um, so it sticks out far enough. And then basically, this is just going to lock right in like so on this uh, to keep it you know from falling or moving or anything and then the weight of the bed and everything else uh, will hold it on and once I put the plywood on probably throw a couple of screws in um, you know each one of the corners just to make sure it doesn't move around anything but the nice thing about this setup is is that with this being installed you know on the side of the van literally you can take that bed front the bed out take the plywood the plywood's going to be in two sheets uh, it'll sit on top of here take those two pieces of plywood out and then take these um, horizontal braces out that I got from Ikea and your beds out so if you're you know if you want to haul something or you need more storage or something and you're not you know using it as your camper at the time uh, or if you just need to go pick something up you'll be able to basically gain access to the whole backside you know of this is van for you know haul like you want to go pick up a refrigerator or something you could do that um, so i think that's pretty cool uh, anyways we'll put it on time lapse and uh, you can watch me uh, in here sweating and uh, putting this thing together Okay guys, so that is the end of the bed install. Pretty easy, huh? Uh, one thing I would like to say that um, when Grace and I were cutting these uh, plywood to go in there, the theory is is to have two pieces of plywood so you can easily remove the plywood, remove the supports, the ones I got from Ikea, the four supports out. Um, so basically, you take out the mattress, you take out two sheets of plywood and the four supports and this whole bed is completely out of your your van uh, i think you can do it fairly quickly we'll do a test drive whenever i get the mattress in and see how long it takes to take it out and put it back in but that way when we when we go to install the electronics and the plumbing actually there's going to be electronics on this side plumbing on this side um, if I ever have any problems with it or anybody else ever has any problems with it, you'll be able to take this stuff out of the way instead of having to crawl into the garage, you know, to work on anything, you'll be able to just be right over top of it. Uh, and I think that'll be crucial. Um, so anyways, uh, but instead of cutting this board um, directly down the middle, we thought what would be kind of neat would be to cut this second piece a little bit shorter. And what I think I'm going to do is shove in there a little bit now. But what I think I'm going to do is put a couple legs on the back side of this. So if I want to, we can lift this up and prop the legs up, and then you'll have you know kind of like a lounging recliner here, you know, with the mattress on it. So you don't have to worry about propping yourself up if you're on your computer or your iPad 
or maybe you're watching a movie or something. Um, so um, just kind of did that on the fly. We didn't really plan it out, but I think it'll work out good. Anyways, um, behind here, uh, I don't know if you got a really good, any good chance. Uh, I'll, I'll record it with my phone uh, and show you, but um, I'd say there's probably about a quarter of an inch gap between this bar and the side of the van. Enough room for these braces to just slip right on there. Uh, and they're not going anywhere. I mean, it's on there really nice. So, anyways, uh, if you have any questions, um, hit me up in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer for you. Um, if you like what I'm doing, hit the uh, subscribe button. Uh, and if you're uh, really interested in keeping track of this day-to-day -day basis, make sure you hit the bell. Uh, and it'll notify you every time we put up a new video. Uh, tomorrow, excited about this, putting in the swivels for the uh, two front seats. So, that'll be fun. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.